My name is Leela, and for seven months I was a correctional officer at the Virginia Correctional Center for Women, which um, at first glance doesn't seem like such a bad place. The, there's no fence, um, no physical gate, um, the brick buildings are all red brick uh, designed uh, in Jeffersonian style, so it looks like a college campus, but it's very harsh for the women that live there. And I know there's a lot of hardship and loneliness that goes on in that place. And here's one example. When I was an officer, they had um, everybody lined up very uh, orderly to go to their meals, to the pill line, to do whatever they had to do, go to school. In the morning when I was getting off my shift, they were going to breakfast. And uh, because we didn't have a fence, we had guard on them all the time, guard at the beginning of the line and at the end. And the guard at the end was in a car and said, hurry up, hurry up, you know, catch up with the rest of the group. There were some elderly women that were going um, from one place to another. And they had canes and they couldn't keep up. And the guard was being really rude to them. And I was surprised because to me he would always struck me as a nice person. But he's being very mean to these women. And I said, go on, you know, you go on, catch up with the line, I'll take care of these people. So I walked them back to their hall, which was a small thing, but it made me feel good to do it. Um, and they were very appreciative that I helped them out and let them go at their own pace. But that's just a small example of how everything adds up to create loneliness and despair in a correctional facility. And that's one of my stories.